Still you can't be fed What is going on guys, Son of Beast here. We are back with another NBA Playoffs and this time it is Game 2 as the Utah Jazz take it on against the OKC. Then we have the Pacers versus the Sixers at Philly in Game 2 and of course uh, we still got more to go. Denver Nuggets at Denver playing against the Rockets. Then we have is the is the LA showdown still in LA as the Clippers still have the court before the Lakers takes their own court. Then we have is the Brooklyn Nets against the Raptors at Toronto and of course we have the Dallas Mavericks against Memphis Grizzlies at Dallas taking on to play game two. As you can see I just put up the statement for the for the Utah Jazz and the city edition for OKC funders. They're gonna need some help to bring it back again. So without further ado, I'm still going to be uh, playing as OKC right now. And for that being said, I don't need to watch anything going on so far. Ajah Wilson and, and the uh, 2K community, they've been playing really hard showing their my careers at that moment. Mm, I guess, uh, yep, I was correct. Uh, 11 through, uh, for 19 times. Maybe you should do that one that one time. Anyway, let's get on with the game. As we start here on the Jazz section, Utah, number 23, Royce O'Neal. At point guard position, number 10, Mike Conley. At, at, at power four position, number 44, Bojan Magdanovich. At the shooting guard position, number 45, Donovan Mitchell. At center, number 27, Rudy Gobert. And our head coach for the, for the Utah Jazz, Coach Cinder, Coach Snyder. And now it's time to meet the OKC Funders! At small forward, 6.3 inches, number 5, Luke Anton Stort! Starting shooter, say 6.9, number 2, Shay Gil Gorgex Alexander! Number four position, six feet ten inches. Number eight, Dinario Gallinari. At center, say six foot eleven. Number twelve, Steven Adams. And a point guard position, six foot five. Number three, Chris Paul. And your head coach for the OKC Funders, Billy Donovan. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for your OKC Funders. Yep, that's right. It's game two as we are back at the Chesapeake Energy Arena. And we are getting ready to start the roll. As you know that uh, Coach uh, Coach Snyder makes his uh helps his coach uh, win. The writing was on the wall for the end of the grit and grind era in Memphis. Well, let's see what David Austin has to say. Comedy, the Grizzlies' all-time leader in points, assists, three-pointers, and games played. Knew it was time for him to part ways with the organization. And joining Utah, Conley is on a team with a chance to once again compete deep into the playoffs. Kevin, he's a significant upgrade for the Jazz. You're right. Dude. You're right. David Aldridge, Mike Conley's doing really hard, and he helps his team win game one. But right now it's game two. So here's a look at the Western Conference standing. Utah trying to create some room if they want to win, and they got to do that with all the time. Mostly, this was a very tough game showing you between 
and Billy Donovan and, and Quinn Snyder. So that's why I was just looking up for some reasons that time. And now here is your key matchup, Shade and Gojic Alexander against Donovan Mitchell. Showing you in the shooting guard position. And that time, we're getting to save off and start game two. Who can win the tip-off? Let's see who it is. Utah Jazz wins the second tip-off of game two, and we are ready to go. Conley with a, with a move and snipe position. Conley finds Mitchell. Heavy contested shot, but still the Gordix Alexander makes the first free throw. I mean, rebound. Chris Paul for three. Makes that shot. Still the Gordix Alexander takes his first assist. And this has happened in the last game in game one. Chris Paul against Conley. Conley to Mitchell. Conley with a move. Tough D, but Steven Adams takes his rebound. Here's Gallinari, covered by McDonovich. Passes to Adams. Adams to kill going to Alexander. Adams over Gobert, and he's at two for Adams. He was to bite on the pump. He left his feet way too soon. Conley against Chris Paul. Yeah, they're off. Oh, the shot. Oh, the fadeaway's good for Conley as he has his first two bucket of the game. Chris Paul on the other hand. Mike Conley. And here's Adams. Adams to Chris Paul. Rolling over to Dort. To Dort. Shot fake. Dort. Six to shoot. Foul is on Gobert, his first. It's going to be on Rudy Gobert. That's going to be their first team foul. Snyder and Donovan are in a battle between battle in the playoff position. This is happening here in 2018, just two years ago. In that case, we are seeing some great plays of the game. And right now, here's Dorp shooting two. Short misses the first one. And for the Thunder, one of the assistant coaches leaving this past summer. Greg, how much of a concern is that for head coach? What is your chance here, Greg? Possibly a sign that Donovan could be on the hot seat in OKC. I mean, three consecutive first round exits. Donovan on the final year of his deal. The clock is definitely ticking. I don't know if Donovan Mitchell wants to uh, switch things off to the Thunders, but the judges say no. Or some judges could say, yes, they want to move him to the OKC Thunder because they're having hard times. Grabbing rebound, out of bounds, turns things over into Thunderball. Bogdanovich couldn't save the rebound, but that time it turned things over as Chris Paul turns the other way. Chris Paul, rebound by Adams. Look at that. And they put them another lead that time as Adams got four points. The second bucket of the night. Now Mitchell. Now Mitchell, under five minutes remaining. Eight to two. Trailing by six. Conley for three. Utah with the grabbing the miss. Solid defense on Gallinari. And they, they've gone so much far pace at that time. Gil Gorgic's Alexander. To Paul. Paul to Alexander. Here's Paul over, over Conley. And the Belver shot with Chris Paul goes in as the pass came up with the assist by the Gorgic's Alexander. The catch, the area is money. Now here in the other direction, here's Conley with a shot. And foul on the foul called on Stephen Adams, his first personal foul. Stephen Adams picks one up. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. And the course of his career. Mike Conley taking Here's Mike Conley with one more chance. Yeah, there's a there's a cut in. I know. 
It's taking a lot of hard times showing you by near and miss elements. Trying to, uh, try to stop on the defender. Mike Conley shooting two. Loud City makes some noise. This is game two. Mike Conley makes the first free throw. And as you notice that Mike Conley just played with the uh, Memphis Grizzlies since last season, in season three, as the Memphis Grizzlies take, take on against the Spurs at that time. Uh, oh wait, I think it was the Spurs and Grizzlies, yeah. That, that's what I'm looking at for, but that's happening, that happened in last season. Uh, in season three, but for Paiuka Saul, he was not here anymore, and so has Marcus Saul. But in that case, the the, the Saul brothers are having some hard times, and no Paiu there. I mean, that could be that Paiu might be retired. So we don't know what's going to happen here, but in that case, that's how it's happening. And Marcus Saul still continues to play for the season with the Raptors. Conley against Dort, with 3:37 remaining. Only one point for Conley. He goes, didn't make it that time, and that's another miss for Conley. Adams got his fourth rebound. Only four points. Chris Paul for three. But Donovan grabs the miss by Chris Paul. O'Neal, on the outside of a wing, cuts in over Adams. Solid D rebound. Kicks it to Mitchell. Mitchell missed again and they grabbed the rebound. Mitchell with a lost streak after he played a great game in game one but lost a streak. Chris Paul with a free three makes it in. 13 to three as the assist comes up by Gorgix Alexander. Utah calls timeout here. With 241 remaining, OKC loves to hear Chris Paul about his favorite ability and what his shot has made. And Rumble is the mascot for Funders. Alright, I made one substitution as Chris Paul is subbed out and I brought Dennis Schroeder on the court and I switched it into a 2-3 to three zone. Ingles, wow, he made that first bucket in for 3. And here are all five substitutions. Schroeder, Della, Ferguson, Muscala, and Noel. Shooter finds Ferguson. Right over to Noel. Shot over to Gobert, and first two buckets for Noel is good. Field goals position. 20% for the Jazz, 67 for Thunders. Another three-pointer for Ingles, as he's got six. Now they're leading by six for Funders. Two minutes gone by in the first quarter. Ferguson covered by Ingles. Diallo in the other direction. Diallo missed again as Jordan Clarkson puts a strong of effort on D. Ingles with grab the rebound. Ingles with the with the layup and spin move. Oklahoma City leads by four. Passes to Muscala. And a, chant, and a crowd's going to chant OKC. Schroeder makes the two, and he's got his first two bucket of the game. Here's Moutier. Moutier to Davis. Tough shot, but no good for Mus. No good for uh, for Davis. Diallo finds Noel. Back to Diallo. I need to find some motion here. Left side is Muscala. Here's a screen. Muscala takes one. And again, they made another three. After all, uh, Chris Paul managed to come up with the three. Now here's Clarkson against Schroeder. 30 seconds to play in the first quarter. 
Screen on Gobert. Ingles for three. Oh, uh, he lost the streak on the three, but that's okay. Only one missed that time. Great pass. Oh, with the Rudy Gobert with the with the D. Hard D by the fadeaway. But no assist that won't count it as follows. And that's the end of the first quarter. OKC makes the lead 20 to 11. Uh, much better than game one, but uh, Donovan Mitchell making, he's missing out some threes or twos, but only Chris Paul make that one shot after that time. 20 to 11, we'll be right back in the second quarter. Here's Chris Paul. The steal thing is just something that I've always had a knack for doing and just, uh, I think it's because I watch so much basketball. And you know when he was at the, when when he's a student he's uh, he's watching all of his games. But his father he told his father that he wants to become a professional basketball player. So Chris Paul decided to uh, make a suggestion to uh, train before heading into the NBA into a journey. So right now the second quarter starts now. Clarkson finds Ingles. Left alone, but missed a shot. That's two times in a row for Ingles missing the three. Ferguson, on the other hand, covered by Gobert. Oh, shot's good. Gobert has his second personal foul. Watch as Ferguson made that shot. You see that one? When he get that shot, he's knocking so hard on Ferguson. But that shot, you made that. You made it work, man. Ferguson's gonna take. We'll take one shot. We're just stopping the clock at 6:26. Wow, I can't believe it. None of each NBA player. Well, a lot of each NBA players make that shot and it counts the basket after shooting foul. But you know what? I guess that I guess uh, you'll never know if the shots makes that one in. If you're an NBA player, I mean, if you're a basketball player, you made that shot as well as they count the blow whistle. Wow, Muscala with uh, rejection. Noel makes that layup. Noel's got four. Only one rebound. Clarkson in the upper direction. Shooter covers up. Not always the case these days. Davis blocked by Noel. Oh, but he recovered that time. Clarkson with the three, and there's a three pointer for Clarkson. He's got his points on the board. Unselfish, great awareness. Eagles willing to. Here's Schroeder. Schroeder goes to Diallo. Now here's Diallo. No points in the game. Diallo to Schroeder. Back to Diallo, going over to Ferguson. He passes up to Diallo. Deep. Trying to rebound it, but Muscala couldn't handle the save. Ingles, tough shot, but that is off the line. Off target here. Ferguson finds Schroeder. Muscala with the screen. Schroeder looking for Ferguson. Free! Ferguson's got the lead with six points. Timeout, Utah! Their second timeout. Stop the clock under five minutes. 28 to 14. And Ferguson's on the roll, putting a strong effort ability. What a nice move. All right, just subbed it in. And now Ed Davis is looking for an open man looking for offense, but no substitution yet. Conley finds uh, finds an open man to O'Neal. Passes to Mitchell. Bogdanovich for two, and Bogdanovich kicks the two. Only this season, 20.2, last game of the season. In game one, um, last game in game one, after, after they win against OKC. Ball to Dort. For three. Dort misses. Jazz trailing by 12. And here's O'Neal. 
And O'Neal uses the one hand dunk, and, and the Jazz are drilling up the point. 30% for the Jazz, 58% for the uh, OKC Funders in the field goal position. Adams up in the other direction. Crowd saying OKC chair. Gallinari, rebound. Adams. And great deeper and Ed Davis as Steven Adams is missing. O'Neal. And a chance there for the two, no good. Oklahoma City leading by ten. He passes to Paul. Screen on Adams. Here's Paul. One hand layup is good. Paul's got 10 points. Not for James Harden, but James Harden, he's way on fire than Chris Paul. Unfortunately, I don't think he may not have any other shots at that time. So if James Harden sees Chris Paul when he wins the game or move or not, they might be saying, James Harden, good luck in the second round. It was hard to play the other team, but you, but you know you can do it. Nice pass, Adams makes a two and he's got six as the assist comes up by Gillinari. Conley missed again. Steven Adams with another rebound. He has eight. No, back to you, Paul. Here's Paul. Just 2.30 left in the second quarter. Pass to Gallinari. Shot clock at six. Shot nice shot, shot for Gallinari, and he makes one in. He's got his first, two points of the night. first two bucket points of the night, and has two. Conley against Chris Paul, looking for a double man. Ah, oh, the foul. Called on Gallinari, his first. They are obsessed with the shooting the point range, and they are definitely knocked out of control as Badanovich looks really comfortable, but the, the but the one of each defender just draws an intentional foul. So with that, Gallinari has his first personal foul. Stop the clock at 2.08, and Badanovich taking two shots. The first free throw makes it in. And now here's Gobert summing out Ed Davis. I don't know if Rudy Gobert has that one, but he posted on social media thanking everyone for showing up in the game. We really appreciate your support, and uh, hopefully next season we may not have uh, COVID-19 again next year in 2021. Hopefully not. Let's hope this won't happen again. But, uh, but it's still 2020, so let's enjoy the year. Two minutes played in the first half. Chris Paul has 12. Passed assist by C. Gorgix Alexander. Gorgix Alexander. After he played uh, with his uh, three seasons with the uh, with the Clippers, slam dunk by Rudy Gobert, and he was on the road that time. Open man than Mike Conley. But for Gorgix Alexander, he's been playing last couple seasons before drafted in the NBA. And then Gennari. And then uh, Chris Paul, he's all right playing his own, but uh, but there's a lot of team needs some help here to try to get back in and see who has the best player. Gallinari makes a two and has four. Conley, whoa, oh no, Rudy Gobert went out of bounds. That turns it over to a thunderball. Free subbed in, free subbed out. Mitchell changes to uh, the point guard position. And here's Adams, Dort, and Paul. Noel Ferguson Schroeder checks in. Schroeder passes to Gillinari. Now he goes with Schroeder. Under one minute, 38 to 28. The 22, sorry. I'm getting confused right now with the scoreboard. And a three second violation called on offense 
as Noel stayed on the paint too long. So that's turning things over to Jazz Ball. Next, uh, and next game, they'll be playing against, uh, against Jazz at Utah in game three. And then in game four, they'll game three and four. And game five, they'll be back home at OKC. McDonough missed the three. And no assist found. It's a plus five advantage. Gorgeous Alexander, the shooter. Shooter finds Ferguson. Here's Ferguson. Ferguson to Gorgeous Alexander with a shot. Makes one. Alexander takes another two. Mitchell covered by Schroeder. He's on fire looking for himself to be the starting match, the starting lineup on the point. Five seconds to play. Now Mitchell. With the shot. Must be no good, and we have closed the first half. OKC lead by 40 to 22. As Chris Paul has 12 points, a terrific game opportunity here. Now let's catch up on David Aldridge on the sideline. David. Kevin, thanks. Here with head coach Quinn Snyder. Coach, what adjustments are you going to do in the second half? just got to keep playing, keep taking the shots, and that's not the issue as much as us uh, not executing on offense. And when we don't score, sometimes our defense lags as well. Everybody wants to see the ball go in the basket first, right? Thanks, Coach. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. We'll be right back in the second half at the Chesapeake Arena. I'm sorry, it's Energy Arena. I should say that one. Welcome back, and we are getting ready to start the third quarter as the OKC makes the lead with 40 to 22. As the as the first uh, first game wasn't too wasn't too close that time. It was far far apart. And you notice that Chris Paul has got 12 points in the game. He missed uh, a couple shots, uh, five out of seven, and on the court for just like nine minutes already. If he has still have enough energy, he would have been back on the court anyway. So right now he's on the court, third quarter, ready to go. Chris Paul passes to Adams. And after this one, they're home against Minnesota. That game will conclude a three-game home stand. Nope, that's going to be uh, that's going to be uh, later uh, next week. Uh, and in game three at Utah, Chris Paul takes a free throw as Royce O'Neal takes a foul. Looking for looking for an open shot, but yep, he bodied him. Not looking too comfortable. Chris Paul taking two shots. Stop the clock at 6:50 left. His efficiency and playmaking aren't going away anytime soon. And even though he's never been, he adds one in. And that's 13. Coach Snyder needs to uh, needs one of each players to go back into the paint and two corners on the side by the boxes. They need that one help with two to three zone. And so Paul has 14 points, made two free throws, and on the other hand, Beth Conley, covered by Paul. And a region foul calls on Chris Paul, his first. That's their number uh, team foul for the, for the funders. That was, uh, that's four fouls. Finds Conley. Yeah, I'll leave him left open. McDonavich passes to Conley. Conley rolling in. Conley with a layup and a drive goes in. Conley's got five. Negative 12. Hmm. That might be his grading average. That's, I think that's what's happening right now. Gilgorgic Alexander in the corner. Pass to Chris Paul. With the cut. A shot for Chris Paul is good. And another two points for Chris Paul as he's got 16. Under six minutes, 44 to 24. Conley looking for an open pass. Finds McDonovich. Screen on Gobert. 
And then reaching foul calls on to the Nordic Alexander. Second team a foul. That's their fifth team foul. Mitchell in the, in the paint. And the shot is off. Third teammate foul. Second foul. That will be Steven Adams. Second personal foul. Billy Donovan trying to stop on that. Stop making contested shots, Steven Adams. Donovan Mitchell would say, that's not nice to, to put a punch on me. He's been terrific, guys. I mean, the percentage is right around 86. Steve Adams said, sorry, but that doesn't, that doesn't mean that I don't really want to hurt you. I want to make it contested. Well, that's not really cool. Donovan Mitchell taking two shots, trying to put, just trying to put a stop on Adams. That might be too unnecessary to, uh, to call a technical foul. Missed the first free throw. Mitchell's and now with one shot, Cloud City going for a rumble. And the second free throw makes one in. Only one out of two free throw for Mitchell. And only one point. Chris Paul to Dort. Back in 2011. Alongside by Donovich, a big upgrade Dort, defensively. Dort, pass to Gallinari. On the defensive side as well. Dort for three. Makes that triple. Great pass that time, and that was Gallinari's another assist. Mitchell outside, rolling in. Gildish Alexander with grabs the rebound after Mitchell missed again. But really in the rebounding numbers as well. Two point. Ian Adams with a rebound. Screen on Adams. Door in. It's another miss for Dort of OKC as Conley rebounded again. Mitchell outside. Here's Conley for three. Drills it on the outside. Thunder is going to have to take their first timeout call in the second half. 47 to 28 to score in the third quarter. And that time, this won't be happening until even last after all. Anyways, I'm subbing out uh, Should you go to Alexander. And I'm bringing in the, uh, you know what I'm going to bring? Yeah, I'm bringing back uh, Deliallo. And then I'll sub out Dort, and I'll bring uh, Ferguson back in. And for and for Steven Adams, he has his uh, first, or he has a second foul, so I'm going to bring in Muscala in, so he doesn't get another foul. And by that time, we should be good anyway. So right now, three substitutions made. Mitchell is subbed out, and subbing in is Moutier. Ferguson in the uh, in the inside of a three point line. Ferguson uses the backboard to put to number two. Just 420 left. Here's Conley against Paul. And a steal by Diallo, and here comes Chris Paul. Finishes off with the layup, and another point goes with Chris Paul. He's got 18, and they're looking to call MVP. Conley. Rolling in. Paul covered on D. Screen on O'Neal. Avoid. Conley trying to stop him. Pass incomplete, and turns it over into Thunder's Paul. So that's another turnover for the Utah, and for Utah, they are way ahead with 47.5 underneath Thunder's 47.3. And yes, this is a tight matchup by the league leaders. We know this is happening again. Diallo right in the inside. Here's the all-famer David Aldridge. Oh guys, one of the things that the NBA has been forward thinking about is always accepting new ideas. And they've got a bunch of them on the table in recent weeks. Mid-season tournament, post-season play-in tournament, maybe even reducing the 82-game regular season schedule. 
all of these would be very bold moves, but Commissioner Adam Silver has always demonstrated a willingness to think outside the box. Kevin? VA, great assessment. Good VA, great history for the games. We would like to say thank you. As for Mike Conley, he tried to save it, but he stepped out of bounds on the sideline. Here's Ferguson, covered with uh, covered by uh, Houdier. Paul avoided. Diallo with the recover. Gallinari up again, and another two pointer is good. Gallinari, he's got six. Third bucket in a row. Houdier outside on the wing. Moutier with, with the ball, and moutier has got a two, that one goes in. Field goal updated, 63 percentage for Funders. They put it way ahead of in the Jazz, better than game one. Diallo, he passes back to Paul, avoid it! Diallo with the fadeaway, no good. On that one, but everyone is afforded. Clarkson. Yes, let's look on the bright side. You Here's Moutier on play that you might want to go back the middle. Again. Ingles outside. Two minutes remaining in the third quarter. Shots good for Clarkson. Timeout called by OKC. Just continue. They are continuing the basket again, and they are definitely pulling it back on the spot. How would you do that? That would be unfair. Sub, sub changes for the funders as I sub out Chris Paul and Schroeder comes back in. Same thing for as Jazz. Moody A subbed out. Donovan Mitchell checked in. Kicks to Noel. Noel against Gobert. Here's Ferguson on the outside. He only has eight. Back to Noel. But here's Noel. The shot. The shot. Makes it that time. Make the two. Wow. Be lucky that time. Clarkson. Pass to Gobert. A beautiful assist, and that's a, a, another assist. First assist for Clarkson. Brumble trying to make a dance move, want to make himself out a good time. Muscala. Muscala to Shooter. Looking for somebody to open, but now Noel's in the ever lane. Three seconds to shoot. And with the shot, it's good for Noel. Noel's got eight with a tie from uh, Ferguson. 45 seconds. Gobert trying to hold it. Oh, we got a steal from Muscala. Diallo to Muscala. Has a lot of room to check. He bounced past the Diallo. I need some motion here. Now the pass to Noel. Noel. Four seconds, looking for an open. Shooter with three. Makes one. And a triple point for Schroeder's good. As he's got five. An assist by Noel. Ten seconds. Donovan Mitchell looking around. Five seconds. Three. Fires the three, Clarkson, no good. End of the third quarter. So Funders takes a great lead and push the pace a bit more, and they are pulling it back to the spot. 60 to 35. And they're looking for them to tie the game. Listen for Bailey Donovan. Exert yourself by being disciplined and focused on the right stuff. I pitch up. So Billy Donovan has his uh, number of coach career of the season, and with Billy Donovan, he's he's, he's never played it before, and then uh, and he's played as a head coach. He wants to make his number of career look good. And now for Tucker, he's uh, he's he's on the court. So on the floor for Utah. Schroeder trying to pass the block, trying to block the pass. The Yang for three. The Yang makes the first three of the game. Niang's got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for the champ. Here's Schroeder. 
Schroeder passes to Steven Adams. And for a team skill. Oh, recovered by Burton. Great job. Great recover that time. Basley. Schroeder for two. That's good. He makes the two-pointer, and he was on the three-point line. That's uh, that doesn't count for the three. And there's the assist. That might be I don't know who that is. Nader, I forgot. For a personal foul called on Stephen Adams. That's their seventh team. That's their sixteenth foul. Ed Davis saying, "No, no, that that definitely hurts. You can't do that right for me." Well, for Quinn Snyder, they're just, they're trying to do the, they're trying to uh, make sure they're all, they're all good, fix the offense. But for defense, Billy Donovan getting frustrated on Adams, try stopping the, uh, God, you gotta stop doing it from blocking the shot already. Man, Steven Adams, he's so, he's too muscular. He's like Giannis Achikumpo, he must stop. So for Ed Davis, he makes the first row. And now the Utah makes the change. Same thing for the OKC. Conley, Mitchell, Ingles, and Mitchell. Burton, Nader, or Basley subbed out. Gagorjic, Alexander, Dorton, and Noel is switched to a power point forward. So both free throws for Davis is good. Six well, minutes left. Over a minute into this final quarter of play. <clears throat> Here's Schroeder past the door. Door to Adams. And Adams trying to stop him again. And Noel gets to Adams. Adams. Just five, on just five to shoot. Noel. Over angles. Ball rejected by by uh by Noel, by Dorf. Mitchell, oh, the shot went good, and Gorgix Alexander has his second personal foul. Almost would have turned out to be a goaltending. Watch the replay. Yeah, that's not a goaltending that time. So, short get Gorgix Alexander has his second personal foul, and count the basket for Mitchell. And now for Mitchell, we'll take one shot left. Come on, make some noise. I love OKC. That's a, that's a great comment to put up. And now will be all right. We're just about to be playing a minute and a half on the court. Shooter with a try to avoid the steal. Adams to Fiddler gets Alexander. Over Mitchell. Over Mitchell. And there's another double point. Joe Gagorjic Alexander takes four points, two out of four, and five assists. Looking for a man to, to stop on. Here's Mitchell. Outside, rolling in. Gobert makes an assist by Mitchell. Six points for Rudy Gobert. Six points for, yep, six points for Rudy Gobert that time. When he first entered the lead. Now Schroeder passed to Adams, but doesn't want to have a chance. Schroeder's back out again. Schroeder against Conley. Schroeder over Conley. Fade away no good as Gobert rebounds the ball and turn it back the other way. Boy, the shot. Nice D for Adams and no foul called on OKC. Great job. That's much better than the last time, Adams. That's really well. Adams looking for somebody to open with the pass. Just 10 seconds to shoot. Shot clock at 6. Shooter with the cut. Oh, the foul called on Conley. But Rudy Gobert had to block the rejection from Dennis Schroeder. But in that case, it, it's too late. Dennis Schroeder taking two shots. Looked really good. He's always been able to score. Really close. Almost had a rejection out of his hand. Dennis Schroeder will take two shots. Nope. There was no foul called on Gobert. He's still all right. He missed, he missed the first free throw. Now Steven Adams is checked out. Tremendous confidence. Gallinari checks in as Noel goes back into the center. He's checked in for the Thunder. The 
has three fouls for Adams. Try to be careful with the foul before reaching six. Shooter makes a second free throw. You always see these sponsorship patches on these uniforms now. That's one out of two for Shooter. And now Conley. Only one foul on, on the board. I do too. Conley passes to Mitchell. O'Neal for three. And that's good. He has another triple points for O'Neal. And under four minutes remaining, 65 to 48. Shooter passes to Gallinari. And the pass to Dort. Gallinari back to Dort. Back to Gallinari. Gallinari for three. Triple no good. Following this one, they get to host the Pelicans. And that's the first game in a string of O'Neal checking around. Tight, solid D on Gallinari. And Royce O'Neal misses again. Shooter outside. Shooter outside on the wing. 3-12 left, Noel right in the paint, back to Gallinari, number two for Gallinari, he's got eight, an assist by Noel is good, eight and eight, that's how the same thing works already with points in paint, pass to Mitchell, shoots over, over Noel and shot's good. Funder has to call timeout here with 2.44. But in that case, uh, I, I don't have any substitution, but I'm going to make it make some switches that time. Um, I'm not going to, uh, you know what, I'll sub out show the coach Alexander because he has a second personal foul. And then uh, let's go ahead and let's bring uh, Burton back in. He never had a chance to do this. And yes, let's switch that up. Uh, Spurs 2018 is no good. Let's go back with uh, with the flow, and we'll see how that one works. Oh, and I almost forgot. Door, I'll sub it out, and then Ferguson back in. And now here's a chance to look at player of the game, Chris Paul. And in terms of his shooting, this has been one of the more accurate performances you'll ever see. I mean, he's been in constant motion, creating a lot of good looks for himself. But, but still, even when you're wide open, you expect to miss some of the time. Now, that has not been the case here tonight. This guy has made everything. He sure has given this crowd a treat tonight. This kind of performance only cements his standing. Just looking on my phone, just trying to text to somebody back. Uh, just making sure they're all good. And besides, if you guys have any friends, you should probably text them back and see how they're doing. Conley! Wow, that's all alone after a rejection by Paul. Turned and fumbled the ball. That will be their second fumble. Second turnover for the Funders. Just 2.20 left. Chris Paul back in the Everett section. Chance for 20 points. Makes it in. He has 20 right now. Conley. Against Chris Paul, Jazz trailing by 18. He kicks it to Ingles. Ingles for two. Trample, no good, but Dodonovich misses again, and the layup is no good. Ferguson for three. Wow. How does Ferguson really know if he makes that shot over uh, Gobert? Ferguson's got 11. They've tightened up the vice grip a little more. Now Conley to Bogdanovich. Nice solid D for Gillinari, but that's all right. Just a minute and a half to play in the fourth quarter before the final quarter closes. Looking for some floppy stuff. You know what? I'll go back up to motion. They'd like to revise the rule book to more. Looking for nobody on the shot. And Burton missed it. Yeah, I think. I mean, Kevin Conley makes another rebound. How the game has evolved to more three-point shots. So you got to look at also. We're almost down to one minute. And now we're talking. Gobert with the rebound. Blocked by. Burton or Ferguson. I don't know who blocked that ball first. I may have to go back and replay this one again. Hold on, let me let me replay that one again one more time. Hold on a second. Before I continue off, hold on a second. Let's take a look at it one more time. Yep, 
It was on Burton. He had he had the rejection of the ball first. As I'll I'm gonna re rewind. I'm gonna zoom it in. Rewind. Take a look at it one more time. Yep, Burton with the block and definitely having some hard time issues as Gobert didn't make that shot that time. So that's enough. That's the first block for for Burton. Here's McDonavich, and he makes the layup. As you guys just missed it, uh, uh, we we just having some problems right now with uh, with the camera because of buffer, and you just probably missed it how that happened. Thirty seconds to play. Or if you catch it on Burton, you you will you might be lucky. Hard not to be impressed. Gallinari passed to Paul. Three seconds to shoot. Chris Paul gets 22 points. 15.5 seconds. Conley in the other direction. They gave the team tremendous energy tonight. Avoid the screen by Rudy Gobert. Bogdanovich made that three. The triple made a great shot, and that's the end of game two. Thunders tie the game with 1-1, 74 to 57 is your final score as the Thunders takes a great win in game two. And by that section, they'll be back in game three, and they'll be playing at Utah. So but that time, uh, Stephen Adams, all right, to put it up. But Chris Paul, man, on fire. The 22 points, same score, just like uh, James Harden. And a chance now on the sideline as David Aldridge is on a report. David. Thank you, Kevin. Chris, big win tonight. What do you think was the biggest factor? I mean, I don't know. You know, it was just our defense. You know, obviously our offense fed off of it. Guys made open shots, but I think we really locked down defensively, and that's what we're trying to make sure is that we're a defensive team every night. Well, you were a defensive team tonight, Chris. Thanks for your time. Kevin? Thanks, David. Thank you guys so much for watching for the Western Conference Championship game. And we will be back here with the Eastern Conference as we will be seeing the Sixers and the Pacers in Game 2 at Philly. And then back in Western Conference, we will be seeing Dallas Mavericks against Grizzlies at Dallas, Boston Celtics at Milwaukee, then Toronto, and then Brook and then the Nets at Toronto. Then there'll be a bunch of more to come. LA Showdown 2 in Game 2 before Game 3 of the LA Lakers. And we'll be seeing some more right after this one before reaching Game 3 in. So with that, thank you for tuning in and we will see you next time on the NBA 2K20 of the playoffs. So long everyone and, and that will do it. Peace bitches. Bye.